Hello. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ethan Ford and I work as a missionary with YWAM in Ullerson of Norway. Uh, and I just wanted to give a quick update about the, the sort of things that we've been um, getting up to over the past couple months. So, so the first main thing that we've been really focusing on is serving the community and having time to give to those um, who are in vulnerable positions. So that's included um, us uh, working at a soup kitchen. We've been um, uh, we've been helping the Salvation Army to renovate a uh, orphanage at the edge of town and hoping to turn that into a um, a rehabilitation place so that people can come and they can be safe and they can be um, helped through the problems that they have. Um, we're also working with um, Ocean Cleanup and we've been going out into the streets to pick up uh, trash from the high streets of this town and my goodness it's you don't realize how much trash is around until you start picking it up and all collecting it in one place because you think oh yeah Ullison's a really clean city there's no trash around here and then you start collecting it and you're like oh my goodness how have we got five bags already uh, and then we've also been supporting families and one of the main ways we've been doing that is by um, helping some uh, helping a new family who have triplets and going around and just cleaning their house and giving them a day off basically um, alongside that we've been really focusing on uh, on the base that's here in Allison on the Wawan base and really making sure that we're um, stewarding that as well as we can so that's included we're renovating large parts of it uh, we're even putting up a climbing wall in one of the back um, back offices so um, we're thinking of making a VR space that we can use to promote our um, YWAM work in Papua New Guinea and other impoverished areas to really um, create an immer immersive experience to help people understand the depths of poverty and the challenges that these people are facing. And for my part, I've been helping um, the finance and accounting department to, to really um, to make sure that everything's running smoothly and streamlined. And then the final thing that we've been really focusing on is training up for DTS. So DTS is the main focus of YWAM and it's a time when we can bring in youths from around the world and to train them up in a greenhouse environment to really grow and develop at an accelerated rate in their relationship with God. And so we've been really focusing on training with that. So we've already had, um, we just came back from uh, a a weekend trip to Grimmerut, which is the main YWAM base in Norway, and we've been we spent like um, uh, four days there. Four days were pretty much just solid um, lectures, teaching and training and worship and prayer <clears throat> to make sure that we can be the best staff that we can possibly be for um, for the students that are coming. And the thing that I found amazing with that uh, is that a lot of the things that they teach and a lot of the things that uh, you learn as part of staff training is something that's very applicable to many many other areas of your life and it's not just a one and done um training that uh, it has so much more value than that it has a lot more um purpose that you can use it to in every area of your life really and that's just been a really encouraging thing for me um so that's the main things that we've been doing over the past couple of months uh, and what we'll continue to do up until christmas when the dts starts arriving and so we really appreciate pr um prize for health uh me and another guy uh, are still recovering from some sort of fever thing that we came down with after the um grim Root, um trip and uh, um guidance from god that we really appreciate prayers for that that we're making sure that we're sticking on his path and that we're not uh, but we're not making it about what we think is best, but we're always checking back in with him. Um, so that would be it. And I can't wait to see you all in person over the Christmas holidays. Hi, church family. I just wanted to give you a quick update about where I'm at and what's happening with me. Um, it's been about eight weeks since I left the UK to fly back to Kona. We are currently in week four of our DTS. Um, but as many of you know, I went to Mazatlan in Mexico for two weeks prior to entering the US because of the current COVID restrictions of entry. While I was there, I just really felt God stirring my heart um, for something new. And I really feel like this has been a season of laying down the old to take hold of the new. And when I got to Mazatlan, I was up on the roof of the YWAM base there and I just felt God give me supernatural vision of Mazatlan and how God was going to use Mazatlan. And I felt like he was personally inviting me to be a part of that. And over the two weeks I was there, I thought I was going for a rest. 
God had other ideas and he was using me to disciple um, some of the younger people that were there and I started to make connections with some of the uh, key people on the base and so I came away from there feeling like God's definitely got something for me in Mazatlan but not being sure of the timing and we started to pray into the outreach locations well as many of you know I was due to take a team to South Africa in early 2020 and then Covid hit and we had to leave the campus and, and the base shut for a while and it looked like it was a season where I was going to see the fulfillment of that promise to get back to South Africa and to be able to lead a team there but as we were praying over our outreach locations I very strongly felt God asking me would I lay South Africa down and so I wrestled with that for a little bit but I did definitely have the peace from the Lord that I was supposed to go to Mazatlan and God was just accelerating his timing. So we revealed today to the students, the outreach uh, teams and who would be their outreach leaders. And so I'm going with new friends of mine, Jen and Mike, and we're going to be taking a team to Mazatlan in mid to end of December. And so we'll be there for two months, coming alongside locals there. We're going to be pouring into rehab ministries, prison ministries. There's a local island that we will go and do street evangelism and pastoral visits with. There's a dump ministry where people live um, on the outskirts of Mazatlan where we'll be coming alongside and ministering to those people. And there's also some more sports based activities and ministries like surfing ministries and skating ministries that some of our younger team members will be able to participate in so we're really excited and expectant for how God's going to use us and how he's going to move in Mazatlan in the time that we're there I just would ask for prayers for provision just prayers for the general health of the team and and to be able to get there and then be no restrictions in the traveling arrangements and just for us to bond together you know and to be unified as one team and to to just be joyfully expectant for all that God's got for us. I love you guys. I really appreciate the prayer support and the other ways that you've been backing me over the last few years. I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. I love you guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.